Hi, I'm Mo, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you an overview of Listen Hub from Sonox. Now, whether you're a beginner or a professional engineer, we all strive for a little more control and insight into our final mix. Now, usually this is taken care of by hardware monitoring controllers or standalone analyzers and an array of digital and analog routing. Listen Hub gives you all of this control and insight, but with the convenience of in the box software routing. Listen Hub runs as a standalone system wide application or as a plugin from within your favorite door. You also get remote control capabilities using a tablet or smartphone using the Android or iOS app. There's also a really simple loudness section in Listen Hub, which lets you know whether you're pushing things a little too hard or whether your current mix is at a competitive level. In addition to this, you can reference your mix to incoming sources like YouTube or Spotify so you can see how you stack up against your favorite tracks. So let's dive a little deeper. I'll show you Listen Hub in a few different scenarios, how it can benefit you and how it can fit into your workflow. So here we are in Logic Pro working on the mix of the track that you heard in the intro. I'm using Listen Hub as the standalone system-wide application, and in my mind, this is the best way to use Listen Hub to ensure that you get the most from its routing capabilities. You can see that we've got three inputs here on the left of Listen Hub. The system input is taking care of Spotify, so I can always switch to that for a reference. The main is coming out of Logic. This is my main mix, and the reference is a reference mix that's coming from Logic as well, and this is a pre-master of a rough mix. This is actually the vocal mix. Right now, we're working on the instrumental mix in Logic, and you can see that there are some yellow dots appearing to the left of these names. Now, this can mean that there's some inputs that are hotter than others and are coming in at higher levels. We can solve this by using the match input loudness function. I just click this, hit update, and this ensures that we're not gonna get any nasty leaps in level when switching between inputs. Now I can easily switch to my reference mix and get a nice smooth transition between the two. Once I've got this tuned in, I can also isolate different frequency bands by using these controls below the display here. This is great for homing in on a specific area of our mix. We can also isolate the left or right sides. We can swap the left and right sides. We can hear the mix in mono and also hear the sides of the mix in isolation. To the right, we've got our level controls. These are not the traditional level controls you might be used to seeing, but they give you repeatable results that are the same every time. So we've got loud, normal, quiet, and soft here. We can easily switch between those. We can also dim and mute our mix. Listen Hub also gives us really great simplified visual feedback, both in the frequency and loudness domains. And of course, this all syncs perfectly across all versions of the application. It's also worth remembering that the standalone application even hosts plugins. I found this really useful when I'm hosting room correction software like Sound ID Reference from Sonarworks. Different effects chains can be created on the fly and easily switch between. In this scenario, I'm using Listen To from Audio Movers as a collaborative tool, and I can easily switch it in and out of my mix. Hopefully, this video has given you a good idea of how Listen Hub works and how you might integrate it into your system. Listen Hub is out now, so remember to go and check out the Sonox website if you want more information.